Hello and welcome to a short video. I'm now going to show you how you can turn your LoRaWAN devices into MQTT devices using Datacake. I've created a demo account for this. So let's log in. There's no device in here. Let's switch to the Things Network. We're going to use the device that's um, on Things Network. And now we're going to copy the dev UI because that's what we need for adding the device to Datacake. Um, you press the Add Device button, and in here you see a list of available presets. So we are going to choose the LHT65 because the device is an LHT65, and select the Things Network. We're going to choose the free plan because even on the free plan you get access to the MQTT broker. Um, we provide the Dev UI and call that device MQTT. We add the device, and now the device is being created on our backend. You see that there is a dashboard being created. And in the configuration, you also see all the fields um, which are automatically created in the database. So when the device is sending data through Things Networks, it will flow into these fields here in our database. Um, below the um, field section, you see the integrations. And there you see that the MQTT integration is already activated. Um, in the configuration dialog, you see the topics which we use to publish the measurement values. So we are now going to simply copy that and go into the MQTT Explorer. You could use that with any MQTT client, but um, I prefer MQTT Explorer when you want to show some things like we're now doing the video here. Um, in the advanced configuration, we also set the subscription, add that to the list of subscriptions, go back. The domain is set to mqtt.datacake.co. Um, the port is the encryption, um, the um, secured SSR connectivity. And we also now need to provide a username and password. Um, for this, we're now going back to Datacake and into the members section. And on the members section, you find API users. I'm now going to create a new API user and call that MQTT user API user. Um, the only permissions that I need is device permissions because I don't want that token to be able to control anything on the workspace. So press that add permissions for all devices in that workspace and just simply also that permission that it can record. Um, we press save. The token is now being created and we're going to copy that back into the Explorer paste it as both username, both username and password, press save and connect to the broker. So we're now connected to the data cake broker using that token here. And let's go back into our device. Um, as we can see here, the device hasn't yet sent any data, um, but it should do so in about a minute. In order to receive data on Datacake, we need to also um, create an application integration on Things Network. So in your integration uh, application, head over to integrations, press on add integration, select HTTP, paste in the URL that you find here uh, in the lower event sections of your device and give that a name like Datacake integration, select the things that are default here, press Add Integration, and now you're all set to forward data from Things Network directly to Datacake. So back into the device, and we see that it is, has already sent data. So this should now be um, available on Datacake. And back into Datacake, we can see that the data has been arrived here. On the dashboard, you can also see that it's in the configuration on the list of available fields. And if we now go into the MQTT Explorer, we can also see that this data, which was coming from the device on TDN, is also um, being forwarded using our MQTT broker. And you can subscribe to that and receive messages um, through um, Datacake using any MQTT client. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.